LA Late. From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big morning of morning to LA, live from Santa Monica with your fourth seamless check update of 2021. In this recording, a lot of breaking news across the board. We go over that $3.5 trillion recon that passed, that pays viewers of this channel upwards of $15,000. Yes, incredible sums of money are in this recon for you, and I'll show you how to get it. Cluster number one passed, including hazard pay and $4,000 of elder care. And now a provision being proposed to be added in there that would pay you $25,000 on top of that. Cluster number two passed, including home repairs, and a provision being proposed to add an additional $250 billion for SSI and SSDI and seniors. Cluster number three passed for more money for seniors, and then the breaking news that no one saw coming, with big details as a possible deal is now looming across the board with Joe Manchin. I have the latest details in this breaker of a news story this morning. Meantime, the breaking news about student loan debt as more debt is forgiven this week. And then the breaking news as COLA is getting a raise. We have all this incredible news live from Santa Monica on a big morning's broadcast. We also have the incredible details of third stimulus and the big money you can get still right now. And then of course we go over that IRS stimulus check as a chief of staff to the number one legislator in the book wants to give you all the support and thanks you for the support that you've been giving. We got a big broadcast with a lot happening and a potential deal in the works for that recon. It all starts right here, right now, because the toast is toast and the butter is buttered. And this is a supersized broadcast of Morning's Allies. Morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. Morning, and welcome to the weekend. We got gorgeous weather here all along the coast in Santa Monica. Hope the weather is good where you are. I'm going to make it better as we go over that force and check update of 2021. And that recon will give you upwards of about $15,000 as a viewer's this channel. I'll explain to you how to get that money once it becomes law. Cluster number one has money in there for hazard pay. And now a push to add $25,000 of hard cold cash in your hands on top of that. Then cluster number two passed, including home repairs. Then a push by Bob Casey to add $250 billion in there for my seniors and my SSI and SSDI. Cluster number three has money in there for seniors and a world exclusive about where they're dropping Medicare across the board. Then we have the incredible details as a potential deal is looming with guess who? Yes, Joe Manchin. A potential deal is in the works with Joe Manchin. What's going on? I have the latest detail and how this could bring us to the finish line faster than you can imagine. That deal featured on tonight's in this morning's broadcast. Then we go over debt forgiveness. More debt has now been forgiven. I'll explain who it is. And one viewer found the news on this channel, on this channel this morning. Then we go over the breaking news as COLA is now being raised 5 to 6%, and this is on top of the big money that's coming to you under fist stimulus. I'll explain how this all works together, because guess what? You're getting all this money, not just some of it. We got all these incredible details. In a big morning's broadcast, the excitement starts right near, and this, of course, is Ella Light. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, America's only 24 hour a day, seven days a week financial news channel. Getting people big sums of money and showing you incredible details of all the sums of money you can get. Viewers getting upwards about $40,000 from the third stimulus rate cut, and under the fourth, I'm going to show you how to get about $15,000. So subscribe, like the video, and consider becoming a member. We got Morning's Crypto coming up at 10 a.m. live on air as the excitement about Bitcoin at $60,000 is upon us as Bitcoin may be, coming, may be becoming an ETF next week. Oh boy, that's a big story. Then at 7, 11 a.m., I'm back with you live on air at noontime. Well, we got a lot coming on this show, and we're going to start with the $3.5 trillion recon that passed in the subcommittee. It's a recon that pays viewers of this channel 
upwards of $15,000. These three clusters of checks, we're going to go over each of them, starting with the first one right now. Hazard pay that would pay upwards of $4,000 of elder care on top of that as well. Let's go over everything in this recon. Remember, the recon is for everyone. SSI, SSDI, single individuals, married couple. Red states, blue states, you all qualify for this money and you're going to get upwards of $15,000. Hazard pay got in there by broadening the earned income tax credit. So more people qualify for it and broadening the amount of money. $4,000 a year of elder care got in there. $4,000 of young children's money as well. Then they got home repairs totally free. Federal government give you big money to repair your home if you're in a low income community. Grants directly to the college students, also the universities, and the Pell's grant made tax-free. $51,000 of monthly stimulus checks got in there as well. This is the CTC. Broaden the eligibility up to $300 every month, every year for up to 18 years. That's $51,000 a child. And they got in this first cluster of checks, Passing that house subcommittee of $3.5 trillion, money for bikes, cars, and trucks, all electric, all U.S. auto manufacturer. Up to 15% for the purchase price of a new electric bike, $7,500 for the purchase price of a new electric vehicle, a little bit more for business use, and a little bit more for a truck. But boy, are you ready for the excitement? I am, as no one saw this one coming. How about an additional, after the first cluster of checks, an add-on of $25,000. Maxine Waters, the illustrious legislator here from Los Angeles, is proposing the first add-on to the recon that would pay you $25,000 of hard cold cash. For what? The purchase price of a first home. This is huge. How would this likely work? Likely during the escrow period, the federal government would then provide $25,000 of cash in your name to the seller. This is absolutely incredible. Incredible. Again, $25,000 for the purchase price of a new home. Let's go now to the second cluster of checks. And the second cluster of checks have more home repairs in there as well. Paid leave in there as well. How much is this? Let's start over the details. First, they're going to give paid family and medical leave. How much is it? About $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. $35,000 a year, then it would be $800, $800 a week. Let's say you make $15,000 a year, it would be $400 a week. Family leave, you have to stay home because your wife is pregnant. Medical leave, you have to stay home because your son broke his leg. They also got child care programs in here, household tax credits. They got money for seniors, more about that in the third cluster. And then they got in this second cluster, more home repairs. These are for weatherizing your home. You got to weatherize your home. I mean, you got to weatherize your home. I always say, especially have to weatherize your home if the uh, moderate Democrats are on the roof. <laughs> whenever possible, keep the moderate Democrats out of the House. And as I always say, whenever possible, keep them also out of the Senate. <laughs> there we go. Also, the second cluster checks they got in there. Free pre-kindergarten and tuition-free community college. Well, time for the second item that's being proposed to be added into these three clusters that have already passed. And that second add-on is two hundred and fifty billion dollars for you for my ssi ssdi and social security recipients yes this comes from bob casey senator bob casey the illustrious 61 year old democrat from pennsylvania has proposed an incredible 250 billion dollars going out to states to care for older people and people on disability through medicare this is huge this would be more benefits for medicare specifically including home health care. The concept that Casey has is brilliant. Basically, he sees that a lot of people have their sons and daughters stay at home to care for the elders because home health care is too expensive. So the son and daughters can't work. Well, now he's going to give big money to the states so that they can have licensed professionals come into your home and provide you home health care totally free. That allow your get better service, and also allow your son and daughter to go into the work face, workforce, eliminate, eliminating the labor shortage. Wow. That is the second add-on. Let's go now to the third cluster of checks. And those third cluster of checks are, have more money in there for seniors. These are items that have already been passed, and I have a world exclusive about this cluster, which also stems from Bob Casey. In the third cluster of checks are money for seniors. Let's go over the third cluster. Free school bills for all checks, tax break checks, cheaper prescription medication checks, checks for farmers, checks for free internet, checks for clean energy, checks for workers like independent contractors, and checks for Medicare, like 
dental, vision, hearing checks for seniors, and lowering the, mel the eligibility age for Medicare. What is this? How does this work? Here comes another world exclusive, and it comes courtesy again from Senator Bob Casey. Insiders tell L8 that Bob Casey is proposing to drop the Medicare eligibility age from 65 to 60. Wow. There you go. Those are the three clusters of checks, but there's a third class. There's a third add-on that's being proposed as well. And you know what it is. Those monthly IRS stimulus checks. We go in the weekend with several viewers being confirmed by Chuck Schumer's office again that they're inserting a monthly stimulus check provision. And this is big because he's the number one legislator in the process. You heard the breaking news late yesterday that came in with this. This message came from a chief of staff from the number one senator in the recon process having this incredible message with a viewer of this channel. The message was the following. They now have through, um, this is actually not the graphics. <laughs> Let me show you another graphic. Uh, the, the message was the following. They now have in total between congressional senator offices received more context of advocacy from the LA Purple Power than they have gotten the number of signatures of the American petition. Everyone is amazed by the outpouring and touching of stories. These outpouring of stories no one saw coming. Here is the graphic um, that I wanted to show you. There it is. Over 3 million signatures. They have now received over 3 million phone calls. 3 million phone calls from the LA viewers. They now have more than what is called a bunch of signatures. They now have a better understanding of how the Americans are trying to make it through the pandemic. These are heartbreaking stories that have become the voice of the people across the nation that have become too large to, to, to be ignored. And then here comes a message to me in the final sentence as that... Congressional staff has now received 3 million phone calls from LA viewers. Please, you LA, continue your encouragement for the continued advocacy as the professional voice of the people you have become until this becomes law. And there you go. Continue to advocate until we're finished over the finish line. Chuck Schumer is an important part of the equation because guess what? Chuck Schumer's office confirms twice in the last week he's inserting a monthly stimulus check provision. How do they do this? We have $3.5 trillion recon passed in a House subcommittee three weeks ago. You now see three provisions being pushed to be added in there. Maxine Waters, $25,000, Bob Casey's money for elders, $250 billion, and yours monthly stimulus checks. When can they add these provisions? On the House side or the Senate side? First on the House side. We currently have a recon uh, package in a subcommittee, but it's not a bill yet. They can add it before it becomes a bill. Then let's say they haven't yet added it when it's a House bill. They can add it still to the House bill by House members before they call the vote on the House side. Let's say they still don't add it on the House side, and then guess what? The senators can add it. When? During a two-day event called the Votorama. I know it sounds like a B-52 song. It sounds like we're going to Night at the Disco. <sighs> You know, the Votorama. I didn't make up these terminologies. It's a two-day event at which everyone shows up in their bell-bottom jeans. No, it's a two-day event at which senators show up to vote on changes to whatever's given to them from the House. And during those two-day events, the Votorama is governed by who? Chuck Schumer. And who determines what's called for a vote? Chuck Schumer. Who determines what's in, up for a vote? Chuck Schumer. And who wants to insert an amendment to insert a monthly stimulus check? Chuck Schumer. He tells Debbie Applegate going into last weekend, and he told Lorica's, uh, he told uh, Donnie's wife going into the weekend before. Here is the message from Debbie Applegate last week. I called Cerner's. Schumer's office, and they said they're putting a fourth stimulus check in there. A lot of details, and we're far from over. We got a lot coming up in the second half of this recording. In the second half of this recording, we go over the incredible details still about these monthly stimulus checks. Stay to the very end because there's a lot coming up in the second half of this video. We go over the potential deal with Joe Manchin that erupted overnight. This is huge. You ain't going to hear this anywhere else. I think the recon can be get done in the next few days. Then you hear student loan debt forgiveness. More debt has been forgiven. And one viewer on Morning's Countdown found the news live on air as I announced it. Then you're going to hear the big exciting details as cola has gone up 5 to 6%. I'm going to explain how this 5 to 6% on top of that cola raise is in addition to fist stimulus. I'll explain how fist stimulus is adding three items on top of that. You're going to get one, two, three raises if you're on benefits over the next 12 months. 
It is huge. It's coming up in the second half of this video. Then we'll be cutting over to the big money that you can get. Going to the weekend, I'm going to show you how you can get 40000 And we're going to check back on one viewer who had gotten $51,000 for this channel. He got another 36000 He's at $90,000 getting another 36000 this week. I'm going to show you how to get this big money as well. We got a big show. We're just getting started. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues live from Santa Monica. Morning to LA as a huge broadcast heats up. We got more in the second half of this video, and boy, is it a lot. We'll be going over the incredible deal as a potential deal is in the works with Joe Manchin. Then we go over student loan debt forgiveness as more debt is being forgiven. Then we turn to the big surprise as COLA is going up, and this is on top of your fifth stimulus. We'll be cutting back over to that incredible message that was sent from a number one legislator across the board. We'll have all those details and more. Plus, we'll be turning over to fifth stimulus, which has a lot of money. And then we cut over to third stimulus. That's paying viewers money this week as well. The one viewer going into the weekend with $36,000. He did not start the week with. I'm going to show you how to go into this weekend with money as well, because that's what we do, and this is where we cash checks, not track checks. This is our light. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I want you part of this family. This is a big recording and a lot of show today. If you miss any part of the show, there'll be more of this coverage coming up at 11 a.m. on noontime. Then we're back at 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and evenings our light at 5 o'clock. And there may be a special guest sometimes. And also coming up next at 10 o'clock is Morning's Crypto. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I want your father's family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video. Two, 3,000 likes. And consider becoming a member. Let's cut to the big surprise that no one saw coming, which is a huge surprise with student loan debt forgiveness. Student loan debt forgiveness got a big surprise that no one saw coming. <laughs> If I can hit the right graphic, there we go. And the big surprise came with student loan debt now being forgiven with more people by the President of the United States. What did he do? And when did he do it? Let's go over all the incredible details starting right now. The President of the United States surprised everyone by forgiving some more student loan debt. Previously, the president had forgiven student loan debt for individuals who became disabled after college. Their debts now wiped away about a month ago. This week, the president forgave student loan debts of individuals who went into the, pro the nonprofit sector after graduation for 10 years or people who became employees of state, local, or federal agencies 10 years after college. And boy, that was a big one because guess what happened on Morning's Countdown today? During the live chat, there was someone on Morning's Countdown who said, I've been a federal prison um, guard for, 20, for 15 years and I took the job right after college. I said, your debts are forgiven, sir. <clears throat> what do you mean? You mean that's proposed? I said, no, it's law. 
Your debts are forgiven. Make the phone call today. Your debts are gone. The viewer found out his debts had been forgiven while watching the show live. It was absolutely incredible. So if you become a, if you have became a sanitation worker for your local city over the last 10 years since graduation, or you became a public school teacher after graduation, your debts are gone. Your, fe your, your federal debts, are, student loan debts, are now gone. Meantime, the president is now proposing to forgive $10,000 of student loan debts uh, for everyone. Democrats are pushing for more money as well. Now let's turn to the big surprise that everyone's talking about, but you're only going to hear it on this channel. And it is a possible deal in the works with Joe Manchin for your recon. What is going on? This is huge. Let's go over all the details. Joe Manchin is from the state of West Virginia, and West Virginia has a lot of industries, but one of the biggest industries is fossil fuels. The recon has three clusters so far passed, and in those clusters, there are some checks for big industries for climate. Now, when I say climate, it doesn't refer to, you know, it's sunny, it's breezy, it's, it's blue, it's, it's overcast. Climate, I'm referring to uh, clean energy, electric, EV issues. Well... Someone came up with the brilliant idea in the White House late Wednesday to take one of the provisions that are so far passed in the recon regarding climate and change the phrasing of the language so that the big industries in the state of West Virginia, where Joe Manchin is and where he only talks about those industries morning and night, would qualify for the money. This is a brilliant idea to get Joe Manchin to agree to the recon, and reportedly, he loves the idea. If you've been watching this channel over the last week, there's two items that the moderate Democrats, well, three items the moderate Democrats don't like about the recon. One, they don't, Joe Manchin doesn't like climate. Something in the climate doesn't bother him. Number two, Chris Asinima doesn't like the prescription medication. And number three, the moderate Democrats don't like the, a price tag in the threes. They want it somewhere in the twos. Well, the great news is that the White House has been Wednesday been trying to make concessions to the language so that Joe Manchin comes on board for this incredible deal on the fossil fuels. The deal is a little bit elaborate, but let me explain to you basically what it says. Legislators have been proposing that they would revise some of the language for coal and natural gas power plants so that Joe Manchin's state uh, producers of fossil fuels would qualify for the money uh, or be able to compete for the money, which is billions of dollars of financial incentives. And this is a potential a game winner. This is a potential game winner to bring Joe Manchin on board to agree to the recon. Wow. Now let's go over what they're doing with that recon and what is really um, been sort of the coverage of this channel over the last few weeks, but now the confirmation this week. Over the last few weeks, I've been trying to speculate as to how long the programs were to run at 3.5 trillion, how long they were supposed to run at 10 trillion, um, where were the concessions, what was going on. This week, mo almost, this week, all my reporting was confirmed as, as correct. All, all my exclusives reporting is correct. First, initially, Bernie met with the Democrats before we had a recon to say I went 7 trillion, and they said no, that's too much. Why did he ask for seven trillion? Because he wanted programs to run for a very long time. At the time I was reporting, I thought he was asking for 20 years. We now have confirmation it looks like he was asking for 20 years. But why 20 years? Because the president wanted these programs to run far after the president has left the earth, far after his term in presidency. He wanted them to be many generational programs. Not going to get it. So they said 3.5 trillion. And over the last few weeks, I had said I thought the programs had dropped in duration to be 10 year programs. We now have the confirmation, a quote from Jalapal yesterday, that the programs currently are at 10 trillion. There you go, confirming my reporting. Well, over the last two weeks, I said the way we get this recon from 3.5 trillion to a number 2 trillion, which is a done deal with the moderate Democrats, is by shortening the duration of the programs from 10 trillion to, let's say, five, from, uh, from, from 10 years to, let's say, six years or five years. And guess that? Guess what? That's what Jalapal said as well. 
Pelosi on Tuesday said there's two ways to get this recon done. And the two ways are shortening the duration or cutting the programs. And Jalapal said, no, the way you do it is just shorten the programs. And I'm totally fine with this. And guess what Pelosi said yesterday? She said, we must do the recon because we have to do the recon. You have never heard Pelosi speak so emphatically and so impassionately about this in a while. So let's go over some of the quotes. Jalapal says, um, when asked, would she agree to take things out? She said, no. A lot of people have asked me, is there something better than nothing? She said, no. Um, that's what's been asked for many generations. And a little bit is not better than nothing. We need to do a big amount of money. Then we have Pelosi saying yesterday, uh, the recon will get done because the recon must get done. <gasps> wow, that's great news. She then also really gave us great stuff with the Joe Manchin thing which is, she said, climate is central to the recon. And climate's a central part of getting the recon done. We have to have the climate in there. We're not doing the, when we have to pass the recon, we have to get the climate. And Senator Alex Padilla, who's also from California, he's also from Los Angeles, he's our former uh, city council person, who is the replacement for the vice president, is now our California senator. He said, no climate, no deal on the recon. This is huge, because they now say, they're going to do the recon. It's going to get done. The key to getting the recon done is finishing and getting, is the climate. And Joe Manchin needs something fixed in the climate. Now they think they got the fix on the climate so that Joe Manchin comes on board. Oh, boy. It's getting really good. Now let's go to the next part, which is bringing the $3.5 trillion into the $2, pri into the $2 trillion price tag. Jaw Paul confirms our reporting. She says... Exactly what I've been saying all week, well, actually the last two weeks, which is keep the programs where they are, 100% full prey out, just don't run them for a decade, run them for five years. And that's what she said. We would reduce the, we would reduce the number of years because the universality and the immediacy of the benefits are absolutely critical. And that's more important than having them for 10 years. That was her quote yesterday. Let's give you an example. We have the $4,000 of elder care. Well, what's, what are the options? $200 a year for elder care and running it for 20 years? No. Just keep it at five years at $4,000 of elder care so that you get $4,000 every year. You do it at 100% of what everyone's proposing at, $4,000 every year, but run it for five years. You need the biggest checks right now, this year, next year, the next few years. We're fine for five years. Just run big, massive checks. Don't worry about eight, nine, ten years from now. It's right now when we need this immediacy, this urgency, these big sums of money. As I said to someone yesterday, I said, don't worry about eight years from now. Chris and Sinema won't be around then. <laughs> so, you know, do big sums of money right now, and you just shorten the duration. Done. Deal. It looks like... It looks like the brains have suddenly sort of come to the common sense and the legislator saying, just run the programs for five years. Five years, maybe 1.7 trillion on the price tag of the recon, maybe it's two trillion, but that's what the moderate Democrats will do. Fix the, the, the climate language for Joe Manchin, you're done. And then what's left for Christian Sinema? She has a prescription medication um, issue. They want to slice the prescription medication you saw earlier in this video. Um, it is a controversial provision because you're telling pharmaceutical companies to charge less. Um, so fix that and we're done. <laughs> We're done. Wow. Now, with that, let's go back to the big exciting details, which I'm just so excited for you, which is the color race. I'm going to explain this because people have been a little confused saying, wait, do I get this, 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 and that? You do. And you do. And you do. Early in this video, you saw all these items that are in the three clusters for seniors that have now passed. They're in there. Then we have Bob Casey proposing $250 billion additional for seniors on top of that. That's being proposed on top of that. That's for stimulus. That's not law yet, but if it becomes law, it still goes on top of everything here with COLA. And what about fiscal stimulus? When that becomes law, it goes on top of everything with this with COLA. Yeah, so you're getting all of this. COLA comes first. It's law. Everyone's benefits are going up an average of 5 to 6% in the next few weeks. The COLA number came in from Social Security this week, and everyone's benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security Railroad benefits, will be going up 5 to 6%. Great news, because we didn't think that we were going to get 5% from inflation when I was making reportings in uh, July. I was one of the few people to say that I thought inflation would be 5% and that your benefits would go up 5% in December. I... 
Actually, I was the only person. <laughs> I was the only person I was saying that. Most people thought I was going to go up 2% or 3%. I said 5 Now we're looking at 5 to 6%. This is bigger than I ever thought that we could get with this stimulus. But this is just now. This is the first lift. So this one is first lift. This is law. What comes next? Putting aside four stimulus. This stimulus has the reform of the SSI and SSDI system. The next thing they would do, if when this stimulus becomes law, is raise your benefits up lifetime. That's after you get this. So first you're going to be raised up with this. Then they're going to raise you up for step two, the second raise, which is a one-time raise if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits. They're not done. They got the third raise. They're also going to apply a new benchmark, presumably next year if they don't get it done by the end of this year. That new benchmark next year will be inflation replacing COLA. And inflation is not going to be 0% next year. Inflation is going to be 2%, 3%. So you'll get an additional 3%. Recap. You're going to get this inflate, you're going to get this lift up. Then when this stimulus becomes law, they'll raise you up a second time. And then at the end of the year, when they apply the new benchmark inflation, it'll go up a third time. And each one is cumulative. Wow. They're going to remove the asset cap. Dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't work and say you can't have more than $3,000 in hand. It's going to go away. They're going to remove the income cap. Dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and say on benefits. And then finally, they're going to remove the marriage penalty. And love is going to win and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. Viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer fear a loss of benefits. Then let's turn over to the big surprises of what's going on with Third stimulus. I mean, this is a shocker. Um, you met early it, it, throughout the last few weeks an individual by the name of Mark. $51,000 Mark. Guess what? He is one of several viewers who is going into this weekend with more money because of this channel. How much more? $36,000. Mark got an additional $36,000 this week. Now, he is not alone because it's a regular occurrence. If you saw my recordings last week, um, the details were that there's additional $13 billion going out to cities, counties, and states from Treasury. And I told people to really pounce on that money. Here's what Prina did. She pounced. Last week, Prina started with $0. By the end of the week, she had $6,000 because of my recordings. She writes, I want to thank you, LA. When you mentioned the extra $13 billion going out to the states, I immediately pounced and I emailed City of Austin. And she got six. She got eight months of rent into 2022 at $6,000 from City of Austin. There's a lot more money available for you. And that money I'm going to go over right now. So get a pen, paper, cell phone ready. We're going to go over rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, uh, food, clothing, appliances, home repairs, and holiday gifts. And they're going to all start right now. I'm going to first go over... Uh, rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. Here are six places you're going to reach out to. They have different eligibility. They have different pots of money. They also um, have key words you're going to hear in this video. Listen to those key words. And finally, get ready for the nonprofits. The six places you're going to reach out to are City Hall, City House Authority, County Hall, County House Authority, State Hall, and State House Authority. And the key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage utility assistance because of COVID, and there you go. How much money in rent can you get? Let's look at the graphic. The hero is about a month ago. That is the money you can get for rent. You see Mark on there, 25000 Well, he's now added 36000 to that for rent. That brings Mark's rents to about $60,000 for this channel. Yeah. People are now going back. Everyone that's on this graphic, if you're watching and your, your name is on this graphic like Nisi, go back and go get more money for rent now, further into 2022. That's what everyone's doing. Go get more money for rent right now. And before you call up, read the Allied newsletter and read the part about the Treasury money going out so that when you call up, you know exactly what you're asking for. Next, utilities. Utilities, uh, you reach out to all utility companies. If you have five, you reach out to five. Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000. And then SNAP. SNAP is money for food. You get from the Department of Agriculture. And eligibility is easier than a stimulus check. It is money for food, and how much is it? Mark's brother-in-law is sitting on $26,000. Why so much? Because SNAP is going up an average of 25% a lifetime automatically starting this month. And with that, make sure you get multiple sums of money. Here are the multiple combo people. 
Uh, here's Lauren Ainge, got 110. Mark was at 51. Now he's going to almost $80,000. But guess what? Here come the nonprofits. So get that pen paper ready again. I got five nonprofits for you as well. You know, I've been doing these recordings for over a year. And last year, there was always people said, um, there's no money in Florida. We got people money in every single county of Florida. Uh, yesterday, there was someone saying, there's no money in Florida. <laughs> Maybe it's the same person. Uh, there's always someone that says, there's no money in my state. Make a reality check before you say that comment. Have you called 11 places covered on this channel? If you haven't, and you've relied on your sisters, brothers, dog walkers, hairdressers, uh, vegetarian tofu uh, yoga instructor, then make the calls. Don't rely on the yoga instructor. <laughs> <laughs> because there's 11 places to get that money. And unless you've called all 11, it's probably there. First, you're going to reach out to those six places I teach to detail to. And if for some reason you really do have an eligibility problem that all six places said no, then you lean, you reach out to the nonprofits because they have total different eligibility, and there's five of them. The nonprofits, all five of them, do the same items under third stimulus, but with different eligibility. And who are the nonprofits? United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities. They're also featured in the newsletter for members. The second thing you need to remember about the nonprofits is they pay for items that are not in third stimulus, like the following. Viewers of this channel have gotten small refrigerators, small furnaces, Paul, small portable heaters and uh, blankets. They've also gotten windows fixed. The concept of the nonprofits is always generally the same, the concept. They want to keep you warm, they want to keep you cold. They want to keep you safe. So if anything is sort of in that universe, they usually take care of it. For example, homeless people in the shelters. For example, clothing for people who don't have clothing. They step up for those types of money across the board. Here again are the five nonprofits, United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent de Paul. Also reach out to, to you not to Salvation Army right now because they're doing holiday gifts in the month of October. They do them now, not in December. Next, the unemployment benefits. Yes, the state's unemployment benefits come back to you due to overpayment. It's landing. Average payment is $3,000 to $5,000. Reach out to your state. And then the refund check from IRS where you pay taxes on the unemployment benefits. Average payment is $1,200 to $2,000. You can do a tracking at irs.gov. Margaret got it, Kyle got it, Michael got it. If you got in any sums of money for this channel, post in the live chat. Finally, if you haven't become a member, what are you doing? The link is under the video. Become a member today and learn about all the big money available for you. Earlier in this video, I explained to you that when forced stimulus becomes law, you will generally qualify for about $14,000 in this fourth stimulus. I'm going to show you how to get that money. Because guess what? That's what I did with Third Stimulus with the viewers' this channel. I told viewers as soon as the Third Stimulus package passed, focus on the money I can get you, which I said was about 15000 Elsewhere, people are saying, where's my $1,400 stimulus check? I said, don't focus on $1,400. I can get you $15,000 from Third Stimulus. In the end, I got the average viewer about 40000 And they're still getting the money today. Viewers are getting money this week, and you should as well. It's important to lead by example, and the, le the way you lead by example is reading that newsletter. It comes out from me daily, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, to you, to members of this channel, that features the big money you can get under first, second, and third stimulus. The newsletter is delivered by the YouTube Alert System and the LA Late Alert System, which is also in the description of this video, at news.la.com forward slash alerts. Totally free. We have new two new volunteers who can help you with LA Alerts if you can't find them or if you can't find where the newsletter is as a member. Meantime, what's important to remember is that when we look at four stimulus, there's third, there's about fifteen thousand dollars in there so far before we do the add-ons that you can get from this channel. Third stimulus, about forty thousand. Have you gotten forty thousand from third stimulus? If you haven't. If you haven't gotten anything but a stimulus check from Third Stimulus, start making the calls today. You do qualify for it. You qualify for most of all these monies under Third Stimulus and most of these monies under Fourth Stimulus when that becomes a law as well. Get these sums of money because the federal government dedicated these monies for you as well.
Coming up today, we have a lot of shows. Coming up next at 10 a.m. is Morning's Crypto as Bitcoin is going to its highest level potentially in recorded history because of thoughts that it's going to be approved for NTF starting next week. All have the latest details and what it means for the rest of the coins at 10 a.m. live on air. Then I'm back with you at noontime and maybe, maybe the surprise guest. <laughs> Then I'm back with you at 1 o'clock with Afternoons LA, 3 o'clock with Afternoons LA. It's a big show today. A lot of breaking news and even more news later tonight at 5 o'clock with Evenings LA. And I'm really excited because now the shows from there on out are all about for stimulus. Right after Evenings LA is Evenings Countdown at 6 o'clock, our new hit show. And then Stream Stimulus at 7 o'clock, Sirloin at 8, and then shows at 9 10, 11.30, 3 a.m., 3.30, all the way into early morning daylight are all about for stimulus dating back to April of earlier this year. And with that, I'm so excited for you to join me, but join me next on Morning's Crypto starting about five minutes from now. And with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Don't stop advocating. Pick up the phone and call those senators' offices. Call as many senators as you can. Schumer. Casey, Coons, Warren, Sanders, AOC, and the call the house, AOC, Omar, Jalabal. Leave a voice message. Advocate why you need it. Don't stop because we're not over the finish line. Like the video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member so you can get that incredible newsletter and get those sums of money. The toast was toasting, the butter was buttering, and coming up next is crypto. Crypto.